Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ice Dragons. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Weapon Best Class Setup video and today we're going to go over the level 8 Basilisk. Uh, if I said that right, Basilisk, 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 anything that you guys want to call it. But um, that's what we're going to go over today. It's a DLC weapon locked in supply drops. And if you guys have not checked out my playlist, if you guys want to see more guns that I cover, MSMC, uh, AK-74U, PPSH, uh, any kind of gun on Black Ops 3, I'm pretty much got it there, and you guys can hit the playlist on the top right. But uh, before we get into that, we're gonna go over to like the all the good stats, the good stats and the attachments and stuff, RPM, fast reload, and all that good stuff. So. Uh, this is the level 8 basilisk. You can only get out a supply drop like I said and wonder if you guys actually have this Do you guys like it or do you guys hate it? Uh, at love hate relationship my opinion on it I really at first I really hated it at first and but the more I use used it the more I will feel better about this gun So it's one of those guns that you gotta keep using until you get used to it And you have that special bond and connection with that gun. So that's what it took with me, but this video is going to help you guys to uh, whether to choose a great attachment, how to play it, what kind of play style, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But for before we get into that, we're going to get into the stats and uh, the numbers inside this gun. So let's take a look. The gameplay you guys are watching me play right here is Newtown level 8 Basilisk and I did run out of ammo and we're going to talk about why I ran out of ammo later in the video so you guys stick around that. But um, if you guys are watching the gameplay and enjoying the gameplay, hopefully you guys do. Um, the gameplay is me going 30 and 0 with the Basilisk and as well with other guns like I said, uh, ran out of ammo and you guys will understand why later. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the, I guess, nuke. Out, I guess not really because I use some uh, lethal sheets and don't really count but in my opinion it is a new doubt and free-for-all but hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay let's get started on this weapon all right so the basilisk rate of fire is going to be around 1,000 rounds per minute and that is extremely fast for the assault rifles class and that is like the fastest for the assault rifle class while the Vesper is at uh, 1,200 rounds per minute which is extremely fast and that's because you know it's a submachine gun but there's always that one extremely fast submachine gun you got the scorpion from black ops 2 and so on and so forth and Vesper uh, what else we got scorpion from I guess modern warfare remaster those are extremely fast firing guns but this right here is a assault rifle so it's extremely odd for this thing to be at least a thousand jesus christ that is super fast but the fast fire rate is extremely useful and you should really uh do not underestimate this gun whatsoever if you hear that someone's having a best list in the map you might want to be afraid and be careful so um the magazine size is 35 extended mag you put that on you're gonna be a um, 48 so if you guys are into extended mag definitely uh pick that up it may help you in future gunfights personally i prefer fast mag and i'm gonna get into that in a second all right so the reload speed for the best is, is a little bit on the slow side especially for like a you know a close quarter assault rifle type thing and you're going to be running into gunfights every time most of the time so uh 2.56 seconds and with the small magazine size that is not it's, it's not pretty good so uh, i recommend you guys run a fast mag it's going to shave it down to like 50 percent about so that's pretty cool so you're going to have like 1.4 seconds with the fast mag and that is pretty excellent so i recommend you guys use fast mags if you guys possibly can now the coolest thing that the best list has is you can see the ammo count on the gun if you're in like hardcore or anything if you guys are hardcore fans and want to use best list it would not be a too bad of a choice because you can see how much ammunition you have before reloading and, so, and stuff like that and it's pretty pretty neat to see so um if you guys have like extended mag and want to see how many bullets you have left uh that's the one way you could take advantage of that so you could not go wrong with bestest or uh, no doubt about it all right so now we're going to get to the part of the video where we're going to talk about the shots to kill and what the ranges are and all that good stuff so hopefully you guys got your pen and paper out and let's get started on the numbers right here we got 30 29 and 22 30 is 
the most damage you're gonna get that's just gonna be your four shot range as well as the 29 same difference or uh, the longer you're going out a little bit uh the you know more less damage your bullets gonna go so 30 and 29 are pretty much your four shot range nothing different there and you got the 22 is going to be your five shot range so i tried to find if there is a six shot range but i could not find it for the life of me and uh if you guys happen to do so then um <laughs> definitely let me know because i could not find that and it was super far so we got the ranges uh we're gonna start with the non-suppressor and it's incredible with this non-suppressed uh basilisk just a naked basilisk you want to get to like 15 meters and for a four shot do you guys know how far 15 meters that is like uh, a quarter of the map of Newtown basically that is 14, 15 meters is extremely far for a four shot kill now this gun can be extremely scary at that kind of range with 1000 rounds per minute and that is super super fast with time to kill so the four shot is not extremely bad four shot is I would say the four shot range is super good uh, it's almost overpower at the rate of fire and with the recoil that is so we're gonna get a recoil later and we got the 25 meter range is uh going to be a five shot so any anything above 25 meters that's where your five shot is going to be it's an incredible right there that basilisk is super incredible all right so now that we have their suppress on we're going to have a five meter a five meter shot is going to be anything between one to five meters going to be a four shot and anything above five meters that's going to be a five shot so that's pretty good it's going to last all the way up to 25 i believe so that's the far as i could test it and that's pretty good as like i said rate of fire is extremely fast and you got a nice recoil so nothing's going to go wrong with that as long as you're good with aiming your a gun uh you should be fine but what i recommend using it super far range anyways because you know that could mess things up with your aiming or anything if you're uh anything bad with aiming so we do have long barrel and long barrel is going to take up the entire freaking map if you guys don't like five shot kills then go with long barrel go for it go definitely do it uh make your dreams come true 25 meters is the four shot range it's the maximum range for the four shot and i could not find any i could not for the life of me i could not find any five shot range for uh, the long barrel and i tried to figure out where where i need to go to put, uh, get a five shot so uh it was extremely far i could not find it myself no matter where i went it was always a four shot so long barrel is good to go if you guys really want to do a four shot kill no matter where you are on the map so we do have bullet multipliers so uh it's always gonna be a four shot kill into the head no matter where you are it's always gonna be a four shot kill but i did kind of find out that uh if you run a high caliber and that's something you guys may want to consider but high caliber will turn your four shot into a three shot headshot so if you shoot in the head three times at least that's going to be a three shot headshot and it's extremely useful if you guys are into like high caliber headshots getting headshots metal for camos definitely use it three shots you cannot go wrong with that all right, so now for a little bit of tips on what you should run on your class setups. Now, definitely, I would never ever recommend to use rapid fire and reason for that it would be it's almost a wasted perk because i would say that perk attachment uh the reason why i say that because it's already super fast enough how fast do you need a gifted assault rifle just like that the uh recoil is very on point man like the recoil is is not bad at all so uh you could definitely run a laser uh if you want to so you so you know where you're hit firing at uh go for it definitely do it it definitely won't need a grip because the recoil is already perfect man i don't know what to say but um definitely don't use a grip it'd be a wasted attachment as well and they're, they're pretty good recoil is very low uh hip fire is extremely tight uh would recommend a laser though so you know exactly where you're hitting but if you're good if you feel like you don't need a laser then leave the laser alone use something very useful in the class setup so my recommendations for the cl best class setup in this video moment you guys have been waiting for i'm pretty sure uh my first class setup i would definitely use a fast mag and a laser and scavenger now reason for a fast mag well like i said in the beginning that the fast mag is 
is definitely going to shave off your uh, reload time and it's going to be like 1.9 second and that's going to be extremely fast you would definitely know the extreme difference and the fast mac uh, laser sight laser sight like I said you're going to need to hit fire when you hit fire the hit fire is extremely good never underestimate the hit fire with the basilisk man it'll kill people like it is in aim down sight mode it's just the same uh, make sure you just have laser guide yourself with the aiming and you should be fine don't be afraid to hit fire with laser you would be surprised scavenger you gotta run out of bullets extremely quick if you guys have not seen smc episode i said run scavenger carry because you only have 30 bullets and a few in your magazine and you'll run out quickly so as you guys saw when i got my nuclear in newtown i did run out of bullets of the at the basilisk and i did not have scavenger on because so uh, it's a high risk high reward type deal so definitely use scavenger if you're gonna run that class setup so we do have another class setup and i would definitely put uh put off scavenger and like i said high risk high reward type deal fast mag laser and suppress now reason i said suppress same thing um put suppress on because you don't want to be on the radar with this gun and you want to take advantage it's literally a free suppressor on this thing because if you do put a five shot kill it's going to kill extremely fast anyway so you would definitely not know the difference at all trust me guys you would not know the difference is the gun kill extremely fast so that's a pretty much it for uh, the best list and one last thing there's a 0.3 second cooldown to shoot and it don't feel like 0.3 second unless 0.3 second is that slow in my opinion I don't know it feels like it's a little slower when you uh, before you shoot there's a little delay it's a 0.3 second delay and you will start to notice that it's um it don't feel like 0.3 seconds i mean 0.3 seconds is extremely quick but this is call of duty time and that delay can screw you up so get ready to pre-fire around corners and stuff like that that's how i do it or uh if you're doing awareness and you know an enemy is near or you're good at looking at radar then you better be prepared uh aiming your weapon aim down sight and stuff like that that's why i recommend laser as well so you don't have to aim down sight do that delay and all that stuff you can be ready right quick in a hurry so um, like I said, that's pretty much it for this uh, episode of Best Class Setup today. Hope you guys found something very useful today with the best list. Do you guys have the best list? Do you find this gun to be not useful? If you guys got this in the supply drop, would you be excited to use it? Or would you be bummed out on it? Let me know down your uh, thoughts in the comments about this weapon. Personally, it's one of those weapons that I hated at first. But the more I tried, the more I played with it, the more classes I created... I pr I'm pretty much OP. I got a lot of people message me on free for all or other game modes be like, gosh, dude, you're a god at this. I'm like, uh, yeah, I really hate the Basilisk, bro. But, um, you know, I found out to like it. So find out like it's not too terrible of a gun there's a lot of advantages and it just takes a sort of a little bit of patience with this gun so hopefully that you guys uh will find this video useful for the best list level eight best list and hopefully my class setup did work for you guys uh it did work for me as you guys saw get me uh, i guess nuclear and stuff and on free for all hopefully you guys did find it useful and i'll catch you guys in the next video hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one so peace out